You ever get that feeling like, this is probably not good. That's where I'm at right now. My fishing freaks. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the HQ where so many of these videos begin. Here, there are so many boats in here right now, y'all. Let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If you want to count kayaks, there's like another 12. Crispy Collector, I've moved it over here for now because a lot of stuff going on at the house. I'll update you on the chicken coop here in a couple days. Right now, we're going on an adventure. It's like a little taste, a little snippet of Colorado. I'm talking about going trout fishing. I've done this for the last couple years in the winter time. This trout, they're a cold water fish. They are, they're a fish you can catch in the winter that is active. Plus, let's get serious. They taste good. And a lot of the states, they grow these trout so that they can be stocked in the winter time for you to enjoy. That is right. If you check your local listings a lot of times uh, with the Parks and Wildlife's websites, you can see where they're stocking fish. So if you're new to this territory on the trout game in the winter, do a little, uh, little searching and you might find a really good little trout fishery near you. They do ponds, they do lakes, they do rivers like I'm going to today. And we're going to be extending our stay, camping out, uh, and today is all about really finding a good camping spot. It is extremely cold, y'all, and I need extra gear. So I've been gathering up a lot of my stuff. Some of the stuff is in the, in the silver bullet. Definitely going to need what is in there. Going to need that dry bag, puffy clothes and whatnot. Let's see, do we have any more gloves in here? No, we do not. I also want to try a new technique while I'm out there. I'm not taking my fly rod because I don't have one. <laughs> I had Peric's and I broke it. Sorry, Peric. But what I do have is some new crappie fishing poles. And I saw somebody last year doing a fly technique I think I can get away with by using some of my jigging poles. Crappie, trout, soft mouth. The rods are designed similarly so you can Get the fish in the boat without ripping their lips off. In this case, I'm gonna be on the bank, taking waders, all of that jazz. I haven't been camping in a while and I'm pretty excited. You know, get the fire going, tell the fishing stories. A couple of my friends may come up there, so it ought to be a good time, y'all. Outdoor greatness. The weather is looking dreary, y'all. It seems like on this channel lately, it has just been dreary weather. Can we get a sunny day? Come on now. Tonight, Partly cloudy this evening, then becoming cloudy after midnight. Low 33 Fahrenheit. Ah, fresh, cool waters of the river. To be honest with y'all, it is not looking too fresh right now. Water's muddy, it's high. I knew it was gonna be pretty hot. I still wanted to get out here early so I could get a good camping spot, and I think I did. Not just for me, but for some other people that are coming so we can all camp here. So I'll show you that in just a second. Let's take a look at the waters itself. Y'all can hear it, I'm sure. Shoo! It is moving. That is some definite flow. I somewhat anticipated it was gonna be like this. I looked at the charts really early this morning the flow charts and it looked like it had crested at like three or four in the morning and it's starting to go back down but it's still not to where we we want it to be for fishing especially like wading out there you can just imagine throwing a little spinner or something how fast it's gonna be moving not to say the fish aren't gonna sit in certain spots and, and be available oh, look at this little oyster it's pretty pretty little oyster I Amy mean, would be all over that and my very little experience up here, when the water's clear, lower flow, you'll catch them just like that. But if you're going out fishing in the, the high muddy water, you're kind of wasting your time. Might as well sit around the camp and enjoy a cold adult beverage. Fortunately, I brought none. This is where we're gonna sit on our boulders and think. Look at that big granite boulder. Just think about life right here. Think about the dangle. Now my truck, y'all, now that it's outrigged, I'm so excited that it's here with mud on it. That's the way it should be, right there. 
splattering up mud, getting dirty, having fun. And the bed is shorter than my other truck, but still doing okay. Managed to get my crate, uh, camping supplies, basically set up for truck camping here. I've got uh, my heater, I've got my big sleeping bag, I've got my waders, I have a cooler right here. Up in here, I actually brought my freeze lock, uh, or what do you call this? The game saver, brought game saver and bags. I've got a backpack up here, I've got all the paraphernalia you need to do a little trout dangle. I can power that thing now with the truck itself, with our little uh, little power unit. So if I wanna actually get, get the fish going in the back of the truck, I can do that there. Or if I wanna get super advanced, just go off grid. I've got the jacker unit right here. So I can actually use this to power my computer, power the food saver, do all those fun things. And of course we got our sleeping pad. You don't want to leave home without that sleeping bag. That is going to save my butt. Literally, I'm not Colorado conditioned right now. I'm still in like warm Texas, you know, winter mode. One other thing to note on the adventure wagon, the way it's rigged out now, 22 miles to the gallon now without boat. So that is quite a bit lower. It was like 29, 28. And my average miles per gallon, this is going highway speed, 70, 75. You drop down to 60, it goes up to like 24, 25. But you know, who does that? Normal driving, y'all. So I'm, all I'm saying is I wanted to keep you guys updated on the truck and how it is. On the diesel, I, I can honestly see it just being a wash. Like you're getting the low end power, but once you rig it out the way you really want your truck, not with the stock tires that come with it that weigh like four ounces, your gas mileage goes down with that diesel. So just wanted to throw that out there in case y'all are thinking about getting one weighing the gasoline versus the diesel. I might go with the 6.2 gas thinking back, but I don't know. Love the diesel. I don't know. I'm on the edge. I'm on the edge. I love the truck though. Now I got the camp set up. Now I'm just prepping all the gear and we're about to head out on the mission y'all. It is nippy. Want to make sure to layer up and zip up. Wool gloves on. I have two base layers. I have a sweatshirt on underneath. I'm gonna keep my puffies in a dry bag safe in the vehicle. Just in case something happens, like I get soaking wet and I'm able to get back to shore, uh, I'm just gonna run back here to the truck, get into the puffies. Uh, your puffies or your downs, they can't get wet. Like they lose 90% of their capability once they get wet. So you wanna make sure they stay dry that can keep you alive. I'm gonna start off on my first little walk mission here, my roundabout. Uh, I'm gonna be walking down the banks. I'm gonna go kind of light. I don't wanna carry my big 12 foot pole with me just yet. I just wanna do some recon. May not catch anything. The water's still really turbid. But I'm gonna go with uh, just this little six and a half foot ultralight. It's a crappie pole essentially. Uh, I've got a thousand size reel on there and I've got eight pound test. Eight pound test mono. Uh, or fluoro, sorry. I might actually go down to six, just depending on the bite. Uh, in the lure, I've got a, a little spinner on there. That's a uh, little furry. And in my backpack, I have some other lures set. I've got some uh, some inline spinners. I have some little spoons. I've got some little shinies. And I've also got a variety of flies and some different um, floats and different things like that. Even have some, you know, power bait type stuff. You know, trout food, and bluegill food, whatever, you know. Yeah, hey, little nuggets. Let's go trek and whip. Here we go. Crossing our first little creek right here. Look how beautiful that is. Now the water out there is definitely not this clear. It is murkied up. So the idea here is I want to try to figure out the speed and direction. Well, the fish are going to be facing into the current, but I need to figure out where are these little eddies, find these little rocks. Oh, might have just had a bite there. It's either a bite or I hit a boulder. Already got problems. Dangle in the spool. Oh, well, you know, starting out the day with a real zinger here. Maintenance cast over there. Try to get our line untwisted. So you actually want to cast slightly upstream and then retrieve that way. And your bait will drift into the fish, hopefully. Hopefully that's what's happening. Or you could get snagged. 
There's a lot of things that could happen here, folks. It's fishing, not catching. We are gonna go through some baits, I can already tell you. We're gonna lose baits, we're gonna be switching up baits. I'm just gonna kinda walk this path here. Look at these beautiful cedar trees. Monsters. Moss growing on them. Gorgeous. I really wanna try to cross right here somehow. But it is super sketchy with just my boots on. Not sure if I can do it. Yikes. That is a doozy magoo right there. I don't know. It's probably not the smart move. This is just not looking very promising. Yeah, that's pretty deep. That's pretty deep. That's gonna be a, uh, a leg soaker. That's what that's gonna be. Possibly a, a torso splasher is what we don't want. I knew it was gonna be difficult, so it's just doing the proper recon here. This is our skinniest water, but it is turbid. Oh my, yeah. Yeah, buddy, that, ooh. It's just so close to coming over the boots already. I don't feel like it's gonna be good. You ever get that feeling like, this is probably not good. That's where I'm at right now. Because it's not like waders where if I slip, it's like, if I go in, this sucks. I'm gonna get sucked out to here and be soaked and my day is kind of done. I don't wanna be done. So I'm gonna make an adult move here, adult decision, you know, 20 years ago, 10 years ago, maybe, maybe. Would have done it, but right now I'm gonna try to find some greener pastures. Oh, okay, take a break from the raging rapids here and give it the old cast. It's a good rock. There's gotta be a fish behind these rocks. I just don't know if it's their time right now. They're probably just chilling, waiting for the water to clear up. I just saw a guy like, he was driving down here on this road. He's camping on the other side of the river and he, he is stuck. He just turned around and went back. Can't even get back right now. Early this morning, I looked at the stocking report around here and somewhere on this river, they actually uh, put in yesterday, 2000 trout. Oh yeah. First lure going down. Yeah, that's got on like a stick, log, something, branch. Oh, there she goes. See you later. See you, Spoon. You just gotta, you know, keep the tackle industry going. That's what I say. Bright and crazy, y'all. Chartreuse, orange dots. By the way, y'all, if you want a good little tackle box for doing stuff like this, just your tiny terminals and doing, you know, Basically, stuff that I'm doing, small lures, want to keep them really dry. This is it. Look how much stuff I got in there. And it is bone dry. And it fits perfectly inside of your fanny. It goes right inside your fanny. Look at that. Well, my initial reconnaissance of the waters has proven my, my fears. They ain't gonna bite. So what we're gonna do is lean on back here in the Chevy, take a little snoozer, and then get our camp ready. And then when these fish are ready to chomp, I'm gonna give them that straight dang. Awaken me from my snooze, Buddy Lance has arrived. He has set up his amazing pop-up trailer tent thingamabob. He is so dialed in for truck camping. He's got everything you could imagine. I've got a more simplistic situation over here, but it's gonna be just fine. The water still, after taking a snoozer, is rushing hard, brown, tea. It's like Texas tea. I don't, I don't think the fishing is gonna be worth a darn. I'm just gonna set up my pop-up tent, and I love my pop-up tent situation. It's essentially a backpack tent. This is like my go-to grab bag. I keep this thing packed. Um, I started doing that 
like after New Zealand, just have everything like ready to go. And that way, if uh, a buddy calls me or if I find out about something I want to go do or, you know, hear about a hot bite, whatever, I just grab this bag and I'm ready to go for like for days. I've got uh, meals ready to eat in there. I have the tent. I have essential clothing items in here. This is my dry bag, things I don't want to get wet. I have stuff to make coffee, so I have my food kit. I have a hammock. If it wasn't super cold, I could, I could actually sleep in the hammock. First aid kit, the essential Hello. Uh, what else have I got in here? Water filtration system, um, stuff to take care of my health, all of that. It's all in the one duffel bag. And I've got GPS on the outside. So pretty much everything that you need, the basic essentials to get away with truck camping on the go. I'm looking for a flat rock, a platter, if you will. Look how this tree has grown over the rocks. That looks like one of those things you should put on like a postcard or a poster. It's like got like an inspirational saying it's like you know overcome everything even when you're in a hard spot come on now on the spot thought of it smash the like button for it that one's close i think this one's it though i think that's it right there a little dirty need to wash our plate but that's gonna work way down yeah and dude it looks like a big open river, but there's a spot and it's shallow. You walk out in the middle, it falls off. It's a honey hole, man. Most of the time they go that way and they go on the main one. Yeah. But walk on this main aisle here, this little channel here is where they're going to be at. Because they, they didn't make it that way. But walk this right here. I see. Yeah. If they stocked them here. If they did. But, but they, yeah. Likely they, they probably threw in. But if they're coming from higher up, they're going to go on that far threat, main one. Or they're going to be at. A little info from Buddy Lance here. Throwing that super duper, baby. It's moving, man. It is very, dude. Look at the, look at the, uh, look how muddy it is. It looks like muddier now. Yeah. Well, the water looked better down there, honestly. Dude, that's 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 muddy. Like this is like the last time we were here, yeah. and it was like this that we didn't get a bite like forever. <laughs> it was bad. Normally, a trip like this, uh, go up, catch you a bunch of trout, come back with your buddies and start cracking those yellow bellies open. But today was just a learning experience and really getting prepped for tomorrow. So I've got three different rods rigged up. I'm gonna focus here, give me some green tea, reduce inflammation, hashtag getting old. I'm gonna crawl up there in my little backpack tent and I'm gonna sleep with the soothing sounds of the river. Y'all, if you've never camped next to a river or a stream, you just gotta do it sometime in your life. There's just something about that flow that just allows you to sleep easy, just set your mind right. I don't know, one of those outdoor things, you gotta do it. Unfortunately, we did not get to break out our flat rock today and cook a fish. That was my plan for today's video, but it didn't happen. It's gonna happen on the next one. I will catch me some fish before I leave here. I'm hoping by tomorrow tomorrow afternoon it's gonna be really good. But in the morning I'm gonna adapt, try some other techniques, and try to figure out how to catch these fish when they're sitting in these key areas I know they're in, and how to get them to bite during these tough conditions. So thank you all for coming along for the camping experience vlog. Hope wherever you are, you are cozy, coming off a fresh, successful dangle. And God bless you, I'll see you soon on the next video.